Hello and welcome to week 22 of the Ray of Hope crochet along and this week we're making the wave puff stitch so this is probably the, one of the most complex stitches that we're going to do in the crochet along but it's an absolutely stunning pattern and it's well worth the effort so how do we make it? so this week we're going to be using a 4mm hook and we're going to start with a chain of 80 Okay, so I've marked my first stitch from my hook, that's going to count as our first stitch. And then in the third chain from your hook, you're going to make a single crochet. And single crochet in every stitch across. So row one, including that turning chain, is going to have 79 stitches. So I'm going to finish this row of single crochet and I shall come back to you at the end of the row and row two we're going to start our pattern. Okay so I'm at the end of row one and I've got my 79 single crochet. So now I'm going to turn, chain one and I'm going to single crochet in the first six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then I'm going to chain two and I'm going to skip the next six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now in this stitch, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, in the next stitch across from that, we're going to be making a lot of different stitches into here. So the first stitch is a treble. Treble and then chain one. And we're going to do treble, chain one, six times. So there's one, another treble, chain one, two, another treble, chain one, it's three, another treble, chain one, that's four. Treble chain one, five, treble, chain one, that's six, all in that foot, same stitch. And then we're going to do one last treble into the same stitch as well. Okay. And this is the base for our fan. Okay, that's going to make our wave. Okay, so we finished that and now we're going to chain two. We're going to skip the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. And into that next stitch, we're going to single crochet. And we're going to single crochet in the next four stitches as well. So we'll have five single crochet in total. Oops, that. One, two, three, four, and five. So you'll have that nice shell sticking up there. So now we're going to repeat this across the row. So we're going to chain two. Skip six stitches, two, three, four, five, six, and in the next stitch, we're going to treble, chain one, six times. One, chain one. Next treble, chain one, that's two. Treble, chain one, 
treble, chain one, three, treble, chain one, four, treble, chain one, it's five, and treble, chain one, six, double check, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a final treble in that same stitch. And there's our next shell. So now we chain two. We're going to skip six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then in the next five stitches, we single crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to repeat it again. Chain two, skip six stitches. Two, three, four, five, six. And in our next stitch, we do six treble chain one. There's our first treble, chain one, treble, chain one, that's two, treble, chain one, that's three, treble, chain one, four, Treble, chain one, five. Treble, chain one, that's six. And a final treble into the same stitch. And then we chain two. And we skip six stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, and make five single crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to repeat this one last time. Two. So chain two. Skip six, three, four, five, six, and we're going to do six trebles, chain one in the same stitch. One, two, three, let's grab some more yarn. six and a final treble into that same stitch and then chain two. We're going to skip the next six stitches. Three, four, five, six. Okay and then we're going to single crochet in the last six stitches. Two, three, And into the top of that turning chain from row one. And six. So you'll have four repeats. So you'll have four of those shells sticking up. Okay, so on to row three. You're going to turn chain one. 
and single crochet in the first stitch. And we're going to single crochet in the next four stitches as well. So, oh dear, I've gone completely the wrong way around. How did that happen? Let's turn that round. Oh, you what happened there? Going back into my foundation chain. Let's try that again. Make sure I'm the right way around this time. So, chain one. Three, four, five. And into there. I don't know how that happened. Right. So, turn, chain one, single crochet in the first stitch, and then single crochet in the next four stitches as well. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so now I'm going to chain two. Okay, so now into each of these chain one spaces between our trebles, we're going to make a puff stitch. So yarn over into the chain one space. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Okay, yarn over again, back into the space. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, back into the space. Yarn over, pull up a loop. You should have seven loops on your hook. Then yarn over and pull through all the loops. Okay, and then chain one. And do the same again in the next chain space. One, two, okay, so I'll pull up three times with seven loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through, chain one. And just keep doing that round. One, two, three, yarn over, pull through, chain one. One, two, three, and over, pull through, chain one. So you should have six puffs by the time we're finished. More yarn. One, two, three, chain one. Okay, last puff. One, two, and three. Chain one. No. Okay, and that's the end of our pattern there. So we've got our nice set of six puffs in each of those chain spaces. So now we're going to chain two. We're going to skip the chain and we're going to skip the first single crochet here. And then we're going to Single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Okay, so we're going to skip this last single crochet here. And then we're going to move on to our next repeat. So we're going to chain two and then into this chain one space we're going to make a puff three yarn over pull through chain one okay and just like this one we're going to do that in each of these chain spaces and when we get to the end our last puff we chain one and we chain another two you skip the first single crochet and you single crochet in the next three stitches and then you start the next repeat. So I'm going to carry on with that and I shall see you when I get to the end of the row. So I'm on to my last repeat and I finished my last puff and I've chained two. So now I'm going to skip that first single crochet and we're going to single crochet in the last five stitches. Two, 
three, four, and five. Okay, and that's the end of row three. So now we're going to turn and chain one. You're going to single crochet in the first stitch. Now the next two rows are all single crochet. Okay, so rows four and five are both all single crochet. And we're going to single crochet in every stitch. So single crochet in each of your first five stitches. Then a single crochet and another single crochet around your chain two space. Now the chain one stitch we did after the bobble counts as the puff, sorry, it counts as part of the puff. So into the top of the puff, single crochet, and then single crochet in that chain one space there. So we ignore the chain one that was made here. Okay. Single crochet in the top of the puff, and then into the chain two, into the chain one space. Single crochet in the top of the puff, chain one space as well, and do that all the way around. And just carry on around to the end of the fan. Okay, and then in this chain space here, we're going to single crochet two. yarn and then single crochet in each of the three single crochet here at the bottom and then repeat for each section so in this chain space here we make two single crochet then single crochet on top of the puff then single crochet in the chain one space repeat that all the way across the row for each of your um, each of these fans, that's the word I'm looking for. Okay, so into every stitch and to every chain space. Okay, so just remember those uh, chain spaces before and after the fan. You make two single crochet. So there are three in there, but we are only going to make two single crochet. Ugh. Got my hair caught in it now. There you go, so there's one and two. And then single crochet in these three stitches here. Okay, so I'll get to the end of the row. And I shall see you again for row five. Okay, so I'm at the end of the row, and I've just put my two single crochet into that chain space and now we've got five single crochet left so we just single crochet into each of those stitches two three four and five okay so now we turn chain one and single crochet in the first stitch. So this is row five and this row we're just going to single crochet into every stitch. So really easy, you just single crochet into every single crochet of row four. Nothing extra, not skipping anything, just single crochet in every stitch. So I shall finish this row and I shall come back to you at the beginning of row 6. Okay so on to row 6. Now we're essentially going to be repeating uh, rows 2 and 3 but because of the way this all works out we need to start kind of halfway through one of these fans. Okay so you turn and chain one. Now we're going to make the treble alternate turning chain. 
So you make your double as normal and then one more into the side. So you're just building it one more time and that is the treble turning chain. Okay, and then we're going to make trebles in the next two stitches as well. There's one and two. Okay, so in the next stitch we're going to be making our treble chain ones. Okay, so all in the same stitch we're going to treble and chain one and we're going to do it again all in the same stitch three times. So you're going to have four treble chain ones. That's number two chain one, three, one more treble and chain one and then we chain one again. Okay then we're going to skip six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six and then we're going to make five single crochet. So one, two, three, four, and one more, five, and then chain two. And then we're going to skip six stitches again. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so in that next stitch, three, four, five, six, so into there we're going to make a treble. Okay, so then we're going to chain one and into the same stitch we're going to make our next wave. So in, the, in this stitch we're going to have six sets of treble chain one. third treble and chain one four and chain one five chain one and then one more six chain one okay so that's all in the same stitch And then we're going to make one last treble into there and then chain two. So then we skip six stitches, two, three, four, five, six, and then we make our five single crochet. So that's the repeat for this row. Okay, so we've got our five single crochet, and we chain two, we did our treble chain ones, then once you've got six sets you do one last treble, chain two, skip six stitches and then start your five single crochet again. And you do that all the way across the row. So I'm going to carry on with that and I shall see you at the end of the row just finished my last set of single crochet here. So on this row, row six you'll have three full shells and you'll have a half shell on either end. But what I didn't show you was these shells should sit in between these three single crochet on either side of your puffs down here. Okay so that everything that goes into that chain one, into that single crochet even, it lines up with the centre of those three single crochet down there. Okay, so to finish the row, 
So I've got my five single crochet there, I'm going to chain two. I'm going to skip the next six stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, which brings us to here. Two, three. So that should be the fourth stitch from the end of the row. Okay, so in that fourth stitch from the end of the row, you're going to make treble, chain one, four times. So one. Three and four, the chain one on the end. Okay, and then in the last three stitches, we're going to treble crochet. One, two, and in the last stitch, your last treble, and three. There we go, and that's row six complete. Okay, so on to row seven. So you turn and chain one, and in that first stitch, you make the treble alternate turning chain. So just make the double as normal. And then we're going to add an extra section, turn it into a treble. Okay, so we've got our treble alternate turning chain, and then we're going to make a treble crochet in the next stitch. So now we start our puffs again. So in each of the chain one spaces in your fan, you'll make a puff stitch. So, same as before, you pull up three times. Pull through, chain one. To the next chain space, go to make a puff. Pull through all seven loops, chain one. I'm doing wrapping around like that. So, yarn over into the next one. Pull up a loop three times. Yarn over, pull through all seven loops, chain one, and then last one, one, two, three, pull through, chain one. Okay, so we've got four puffs in this half, in this half shell. Okay, and then we chain two. So we're going to skip the chain here. We're going to skip the first single crochet, we'll go straight to the next one. We single crochet in three stitches. Two and three. And then chain two. And then we're into puffs again. Two, three, four, five, six. So in these full shells here you'll have six puffs. And the half shells on the end, you'll have four puffs. After you finish your puffs, you chain two, skip your first single crochet, make a single crochet in the next three stitches, skip the last single crochet, skip your chain space, that chain two space, and then make puffs again. And you do that all the way down the row. So it's repeating the way we did these puffs down here. It's just that we have to start with these half shells on this row. So I'm going to carry on with that, and I shall see you when we get to the end of the row. Okay, so I'm at the end of row 7, and I've got my four puffs in that half shell. So now we just need to finish the row. So you skip that treble after that last puff, and you treble in the second to last stitch. Okay, and then we treble again in the last stitch of the row. And that is row seven complete. So there we go, we've got shells sit between the shells of down here. Don't worry that if everything's a little bit bobbled up, this will all come straight once we join it with the other pieces. Okay, so we've got two rows left. And you'll be glad to hear they're single crochet rows. 
So nice and simple. So start row eight, chain one, and single crochet in that first stitch. So all we're going to do is single crochet in every stitch. So single crochet is that first stitch there. So then we single crochet into the top of the puff and then into the chain one space. And another into the top of the puff and then into that chain one space and just carry out that on round. And chain one into the puff. Okay, so now we're into this chain two space. So you make two single crochet in there. So we kind of ignore that chain one after the puff because it's part of the puff rather than um, this chain space. Single crochet in each of the three single crochet. Into the chain two space, which I've managed to miss there. I'll go back and correct that in a second. But pretend that's a chain two space right now. Okay, so chain two into there. And then single crochet into the top of the puff, then into the chain one space. So you carry that on throughout the row. So a single crochet into the top of the puff, a single crochet into the chain one space. In these chain spaces after the puffs and before the single crochet, and the same with the one after, it's two single crochet in there, and then single crochet into each of the three single crochet in there. Okay, so you carry that on, and I shall see you at the end of the row. Okay, so at the end of row eight, and I've single crocheted in every stitch. So last row, row nine, turn, chain one, and all we're going to do is single crochet in every stitch across. So just single crochet into every single crochet. And that's all there is to this row. Okay, so I'm going to finish that off and I shall see you at the end of the row and I'll tell you what we're doing with the slip stitch border. Okay, so that's all nine rows finished. So it is a bit undulating right now but once you join it to other pieces it will square out. So for the slip stitch border, across top and bottom, the long ends, you're going to make a slip stitch in every stitch. So you'll have 79 slip stitches across the long sides. Across the short sides, you're going to make one slip stitch in the side of every single crochet row. In every treble row, you'll make three slip stitches. Okay, and that should bring you to 14 stitches. And that's the end of it. So that you can tie off and weave in your ends and join it to last week's ray. So I hope you enjoy that stitch and I shall see you next week for the next stitch. Bye for now.